Hey everyone, Grave Cinema here, bringing you yet another video, a reaction video. Now, this one I've seen, and as usual, my roommate has not. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna see how she feels about this movie. Do you know what we're doing? No. That's right, I haven't told her yet. No. <laughs> the movie we are doing is... Oh, Creep people Show. have been recommending this for a while. Yes, do you know what Creep Show is about? Uh, creep show? Does it have anything to do with creeps going to, like, a titty show and being creepy? Yeah, sure. The only reason I ask is because people keep uh, saying you should do it, but the last people that said you should react to creep show was on our manual on the last cannibal video, which just premiered this week. Yeah, well, maybe they just want to say, hey, I like this one, I like that, do this. I feel like it has titties. Well, one can only hope it has titties. It's been a while since I've seen this, but I'll let you know it's an anthology movie. Okay. So there's separate stories involved in this. A bit uh, like Trick or Treat. Who's the, uh... Director? Yeah. Romero. Uh... Yes! George A. Romero. Didn't he do Spy Kids? No, that was Robert Rodriguez. George A. Romero did Night of the Living Dead. Okay. Yes. You might have helped with Spy Kids. I could swear I saw Romero there somewhere. Anyway. Cool. Do the thing. There's a moment on this that was featured on Bravo's list of 100 scariest movie moments. So, we're getting to one it? of those. It was on top 100. That's <clears throat> very astute. Yeah. I know my shit. It comes out of your butt. Yeah. It's where it should come out of. One would hope. Yeah. Where else would it come out of? I don't even want to think about that. How about we just hit play? Okay, let's just get to it. Yeah. Alright, here it is. Creep show. Can bread on the table around here, don't you? Yeah, don't be too hard on him. All the jacks are pretty, huh? My boy is in all. Yes, one jack o' lantern makes a Halloween movie. Hey, it's Tom Atkins. Whoa, what a like that! Time, young man, I find you with a worthless piece of shit like this again. You won't sit down for a week, buddy boy. He left a red mark on his face. Discipline. Punishment. Punish. Not discipline. He, he was naughty. You see that crap? All that horror crap? Well, yes, I did. That. Well, you want him reading that stuff? And that means he needs to get no. his face. All right then. I hope you ride it, shall. Got a Dracula poster. I approve. He would. Yep. <laughs> I like this intro. Mm-hmm. It's a fun intro. Creep Show. 1982. I guess this is where uh, Repo was inspired from. Makeup and effects, Tom Savini. Like well known for his makeup. Screenplay by Stephen King. Yeah. I'll let you know if he does star on this as well. Stephen King? Yep. Guess like. Cass hasn't told you about Dotty, old great aunt Odelia. Isn't she the one that was supposed to have. Supposed to have murdered her father? Can't drive for shit either. Just waiting to get your hands on my money. And he supposedly died in a hunting accident. Every single Father's Day since his death for seven long years, she returns to this house. And after the death, That's a nice car. Friend, she grew steadily worse. I, uh, Did he hire somebody to kill him? Uh, Maybe we'll find out what happened. Bitch. Where's my cake? Father's Day. I feel like Daddy's coming back to haunt the living. You screwed up my mother, you screwed me up. 
a piece for him. It's a hen. Where's my cake? It's a shame you deserved everything you got. I do hope she's all right. Sometimes she loses track of time. He's not family. Can't hurt him. Well, if he's stupid enough to get in the way. Mm, I guess so. Delia, Miss Grantham, you around? Cemetery on site. No offense. Unusual. I like the blue. It's a very nice coloring. Means it's nighttime. So does a dark sky. So like trick or treat, do all of them touch on each other? Not really. Okay. There are five stories. Going to do five stories and didn't have enough time to do five people? No. It's an anthology. It's made to have separate stories. Trick or Treat's just special because they kind of match them all together. Uh oh. Roll! I don't know that he can. He fell into a ditch. He found a hand. Ah, and the rest of the body. You should move faster. Do a barrel roll! What's the zombie doing? Using the force? Yep. He's not dead. He's telekinetic. He can do what he wants. Man. Are you gonna go back to your grave quietly if you get cake? He just wants some cake. You know? Still dancing. Really single. Doesn't even know it. Where is he? My dear, I really couldn't say. And I want my dinner. I'm hungry. Well, go get him then. I wonder if any of them will survive. Outlook looks grim. I don't even like him. I'll go and get him. It really is a shame he died. This is... This is Danvers. It's already inside. And she's dead. Why is the light off? She got stuck this on the stuff. There she is. Now you're trapped in there. What's his cake? Oh, that's You know, if you kill everybody, you're not getting cake. Because there'll be no one left alive to make it. Right? Maybe cake is somewhere in the fridge. Why would there be cake? Why is the wine gone? Should always be cake. Go see Richard, please, please. Are you gonna finish the story? My already? darlings, I'm scared and it's dark out there. Come on. Are you really gonna finish the story already? Don't you have to flip back and forth between stories for a bit? No. Hmm. Does that mean the story of the little boys already over? Mm, probably comes back in the end, but they run each story straight through. Okay. That's more of a traditional anthology. Mm. Like I said, Trick or Treat is its own thing, and that makes it great. Starters, got my cake. <laughs> got his cake. I've seen that cosplay last stream before. Well, that's the end of that story. Mm. He got his cake. Time for the next story. There, that is. I do? Yeah, you do. Okay. He's young, but you know who that is. Magoo? Nope. Oh. Stephen King. Oh. Shit, if that ain't a meteor. You should touch it. See what happens. Yeah, touch it. Maybe you'll crave sugar afterward. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Stephen King, right, Creep Show? Yes. I wonder how much they'd pay for it up to college. Not a cent less than 200. My meteor, my price. That's not what 
happens when your fingers are burned. You broke it! Now he's got pretty stuff inside. That make it more valuable. Make a geode. Just yeah, just put that shit in the ground. Could possibly go wrong with putting it into the soil. I wonder what they use to make it look like that. Black light reactor. Meteor Maybe. shit! Meteor shit! Maybe I can glue it together in the morning. You got some moss on your fingers there. Are you gonna turn into a plant? Maybe. Just make him a daisy. Yeah, they totally just pack them right off of the cleaver in the doctor's office. Yeah, they do it all the time. This is going to be painful, Mr. Vero. Yeah, don't put that in your mouth. Jordy Vero. You lunkhead. You numbkid. You've been. Put me in your mouth. You gonna be a plant. Is your tongue green? He's gonna become swamp thing. Later. Poison Ivy would love that meteor. Meteor would probably love Poison Ivy. Sorry, don't it itch! Meteors grow round when they grow old. By and by, they begin to die. We wanted to see that green. Pretty. A lot of green now. I like green. We burned in summer and we froze in winter. But we kept right on going and we didn't. No, 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 no. There you are, you sucker. I told you was in there someplace. What are you going to do with vodka? What do you normally do with vodka? Put it in your orange juice? Yeah, sure. Let there be life with Father Martin Burdi. He did that. You then said, my troubles are over. I'm growing. I quit me too. Like a weed. Looks like a swamp thing. Now he almost oh resembled that water. guy. Right against the brown. Hmm. Got a beard now. Whoa! I should try trimming it. What's that gonna do? Get him wet? Oh no, not there! Good <laughs> Daddy? But you're dead. You ain't gonna get in that tub, are you? The water did it once, Jordy. You might as well sign your death warrant. I'm a goner already, Daddy. Got the stuff out of that meteor on me, and I'm gone. Daddy? Hmm. Now you definitely don't want to get in. You'll get glitter everywhere. Nobody wants that. Uh, oh. oh, better. Much better. That looks like pot. Pork belly prices and most livestock prices fell on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Yep, now you're swamping. Please, please, God. are going to love this. Calls for moderating temperatures and lots of rain. It's going to turn Can't green run. so fast in the next month that it's going to be almost miraculous. You have no idea. Please, Maddie, we love that. Hmm. And the weird story too. novelties. You need more weird novelties. Something to tide you over. To the beach! That may work on TV, mister, but I can bench press 300 pounds. You better get your face. foot out. Ted Danson, the good place. You know damn well who I am, so let's not play the game. He's also from Airplane. Airplane. So nasty. It's weird to see him in such a serious role. He used to be a very serious, dramatic right. actor until Airplane. Well, I don't know whether I ever loved you or not, Harry. That doesn't matter. The point is, I keep what is mine. No exceptions, Harry. I've got something I want you to hear. You talk to me, you son of a bitch, or I'm gonna kill you. Well, you kill me and you'll never find out. Oh, I love the ocean. You're driving your wife's lover to a beach and you got in a car with him. Are you stupid? She's gonna die when Ted comes in. Come on, up this way. 
You see that down there? The burial mound of my lady fair? Oh, could be. Notice how the water creeps in? I don't know what the hell you think. It's gonna make you take your own grave. Jump into that hole. No. And you force me to shoot you, Harry. Should have kept the shovel, and while he was close and distracted, done your best to whack it away. Cause you get in that Good boy, hole, Harry. ain't no Good boy. you at all. He could get out. No, he can't. All I want to do is incapacitate you, then you can see Becky. Help! Yell all you want, Harry. Comfort point is very private. Help! Nobody's gonna hear you, Harry. <laughs> Gonna let the tide come in and drown you. No! Oh! Get out! Come. Found a friend, Harry. Oh, oh, Richard, get it out of here. It's showtime! Somebody! Becky! Uh, no! Oh, Becky! Don't be lying now. Not long at all. Oh, you've got a chance here. If you don't lose your head now, it looks like she's losing hers, doesn't it? Oh, God, no! Oh, the tide. Coming in. Are you enjoying the show? He's still the monitor shorts out. <laughs> all right, all right, come on, come on. I really can't stay. Move your shoulders back and forth. Keep saying it. He'll hear you. This is important. It's dry sand on top. It's a movie! Movies have their own universe where things are possible and not possible. Okay. And also, people can be stupid. Hey! <laughs> of course, we can test this. Next time we're ever at a beach, we can bury you. Or not. Don't you want to prove yourself right? No. Why not? Because you don't know how to get sand out of crevices and. I don't want to get sand in certain places. Oh, yes. I like the ocean. I don't like getting sand Sand. In it's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere, huh? And again? Hmm? Bucket! <laughs> oh, Magoo, you've done it again. She's dead. Oh, my God. I'm gonna get you. You hear me, Richard? Gotta hold your breath. <laughs> That's how it really came in there on that wave. Current pulled him out. And that's what happened. Right. Current pulled him out. He's gone. Mmm, some wet people. I wonder who they are. Obviously used car salesman. Obviously. Makes perfect sense. They're here to tell him about his car's extended warranty. I thought his hair is still like perfectly coiffed. <laughs> He's only washing the body. How do people do that? People don't want to fuck up their perfectly coiffed hair. I've done it before, but it's very hard for me to shower without washing my hair. Who's out there? Who's there? Oh yeah, I'm sure that'll Wentworth? help against dead people. That's you, Wentworth? I'll shoot you dead! Hello! Hello. 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 
Dead have risen again. I don't believe it. They're moving kind of slow. You could get out. Yeah, the bullets. Yeah. They're slow, dude. Now you run. That's not gonna stop them. Get out of the house. Get in your car. No, the door will save him. Is that working any other? No. Story number three. Mm -hmm. Great. Hey, look at that. Such children. There's Hal Holbrook. The least and Adrian Henry Marvel. has me to take care of him, don't you dare? Buying real estate in a college town is a friggin' pain in the ass. You take my word for it. No, oh, I just take care of Henry. Believe me, he needs it. Henry, you stay here till I get back. Jesus. Yeah, nice. Translation, I'm gonna go try and fuck this guy. I don't want you interrupting. Yeah. I gather you'll be unavailable for chess tonight. Uh. Oh, just call me Billy. Everyone knows. Look, uh, I'd be almost willing to bet that crate's full of National Geographic you know, back issues of the Reader's Digest. The date of them, it said 1834. 1834? Really? And then something about uh, the Arctic expedition. <gasps> it's the thing, of course. Even though that took place after. God, Henry, what's wrong now? Everything's just fine. You finally shut your up. Did you actually do that? I said it was head. Oh, Henry, can't you do anything right? No, I wasn't calling you raving. I was mimicking the applause. That's just what I I'm sorry. Oh, Henry. You are such a little kid. Date? Yeah. Gonna get you, doesn't it? God, I hate tight places. Mm. That's wrong. Felt like something shifted in there. Something moved on its own. <laughs> if there ever really were any living specimens there, I doubt if they're feeling very lively after, what, 147 years? Yeah. Buster Alien! Huh. Get this open, shall we? Yes! Billy! Yes! Questions, did you actually yes, do Billy. this? Thing? Yes, Billy! Oh, Henry. He's just thinking about it. What would you do without me? Be much happier. Why don't you just leave her? You'd appreciate the peace and quiet oh, that, without even. you. Be my guest, Mike. It's your fine. <laughs> You're right, there's probably nothing in there. Pretty hot to see, just to say. Telling the truth, so am I. Open sesame. A little dusty. Sounds like a monkey. Something in there, dog. Looks like a couple of emeralds. Oh, 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 oh. Forty-seven years, but he's hungry. Wait, wait, wait! Is he still in his crate? Is he wandering around in his crate? Cause that makes him a mimic. He is. He's still in his crate. He likes his crate. He's a mimic. Just so no! Campus security's no good. If I'm having trouble swallowing this, what the fuck are they going to do? Just, no! Don't! Leave me out! No, I, uh, I doubt that. Try! Try! Please! 
Charlie! Charlie. Oh, it's like they saw the blood. He's <laughs> gone. It's gone. But he got out and pushed the crate off the table. And then his track was. Went back to this little spot. Put the crate back in under the stairs. Oh, Johnny, there's a dog in there if you had seen that. Don't worry. I put the grate back. Johnny, don't go near it. You really crate. shouldn't. I want to measure the bite marks. Fucking scientists. For science! What we're dealing with here. You need a trash picker. Well, we got the shoe out. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna join it. Back away, back away. Oh, he's not in his car. Ah! That's where it's gotta be. You're right, baby Sasquatch. Look at it. Baby Sasquatch is related to monkeys. <laughs> You dare hit me! No, 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 no. Just saying, you could put the grate back in place. Uh, at least you tried to help him. Chunk down the neck. Where was this dead? 82. It's about a practical effect. Tom Savini was in the credits. He does a lot of the good stuff. <laughs> Did we get him stuck? We gotta stop! What happened? Yeah, he kind of looks like Kurt Russell, too. Two people are dead, and I could be brain. I... Yeah, I think you need that at this point. Good God. There was that thing in the, in the crate. Who is dead? Mike, the janitor in Emerson Hall. He wanted to measure the bite marks, Henry. I guess he got his chance. He's completely off his rocker. Starting to lose it just a little bit. Slow down. Tell me the whole story from the beginning. Can you do that? Am I going crazy, Henry? No. Let's get you another drink, Dex. I know, no, 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 I'm not. Shock, I guess. Just one more for the both of us. While we talk this over. Wait, right, go and get him there. Guessing it's a sleeping drug. Yep. He sees this as a way to get rid of one of Oh, you think that's what yep. he's thinking about? Oh, well, he's already killed her twice in his mind, so yeah. Time to do it for real. In a way that he won't get blamed for it. Yeah! You could just divorce her. But no, that's too easy. That is satisfying. I will keep that in mind for whomever you marry. <laughs> Make sure I tell them. Just so you're aware, he doesn't do this... Divorce shit. It's till death whether it be yours and caused by him or not. Till death do us part. Yeah, you're supposed to be rotting and matching coffins, dying at the same time. Not premature. Oh. I know, the devil's in the details. <laughs> also, this is probably the most well-known segment of this movie. This is the creep show spooky part. In Bravo? Actually, no. That one's reserved for the last segment. Oh. But I think this is the fan favorite one. Always well, confirm the story is true. It's kind of important to make certain your friend isn't crazy. Why are you cleaning it up? You need to tell authorities. Cleanliness is next to godliness. actually a really nice fake blood. It's not painty. Yeah, it looks like a good color. I've had to leave in a hurry because of a call from Dexter Stanley. This one looks very serious. He was gibbering with fear and crying, I think. Oh, poor Dex. Could you come out here? I know it's asking a lot. He's using that as a way to draw her in. He said that she had curled up in a dark place and won't come out. <laughs> What would I do without you? What indeed, Henry? Yep, he's using that as a way to kill his wife. I kind of want to know what he used for pulp there. That looks really realistic. Just in time. Henry, where are you? The laboratory, Wilma. 
It's easier if I just, I'll show you, I think. Did he beat her? Well, how bad is she? Is she conscious? It's easier if you just see for yourself, Wilma. What are you You're laughing? laughing about? You're laughing? <laughs> well, there's a funny side to it, Wilma. No, this is going to be an entirely new experience. The girl is under the stairs, Billy. Yeah, uh, under the stairs. Where do you see? And she won't come out. She's all curled up. You know, like a little baby. <gasps> you can get her out, Billy. No trouble. Get her out! That was just great. You want to see some real content? You know what, Henry? You're a regular barnyard exhibit. And no good at all in bed. Then why did you marry him? When was the last time you got it up, Henry? And I swear to God, if you ever touch it... Surprise, bitch! He's like, damn, Henry, I heard it up too. Nom, 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 nom. Is it supposed to be Sasquatch? I wonder if it's... Did they make a comic about this? Yeah, but they probably don't explain what it is. It's just a monster in a crate. That's kind of disappointing. I know, you want to be told the story of everything. I want to know if it's Sasquatch. We'll just say it's Sasquatch. Head cannon. Sasquatch in a crate. We should block that lock. Right. Yes. Y'all sir could have tried sitting on the lid. I didn't see anyone. I mean, it's not strong enough to break that. At this time of the year, and no other. Henry, what, what, what did you do with the crate? The crate? The crate is at the bottom of Ryder's quarry. I mean, how much could it eat? You probably can make those chains tighter. Tournament. Later that morning, in Henry's study. So... There's no evidence of foul play, I've seen to that. And there are no bodies. Just missing person. Yes. What are you gonna say? Nothing. I haven't done anything to anybody. What if it gets out of that crate? If you saw the way I chained it up, you wouldn't worry. And you just weaken the crate. Up on you. So this is our fifth story, huh? Mm -hmm. This is the same end credit song for Evil Dead. <laughs> There's a cockroach. Not gonna be any more damn bucks. No more damn bucks. I feel your pain, man, but at the same time, you'd have to completely and utterly seal your entire house for that, and I don't think it's possible. Yes, gonna roll. I promise you that. Oh, we got a germaphobe on our hands. Oh, you should be glad you didn't lift no, 2020. Mr. Frank. <laughs> Mr. Frank, air pollution counts up to almost seven, George. But, but, oh, Mr. I found another cockroach this evening, George. Right here in my $3,200 a month penthouse apartment. Mm. That's a lot back then. Well, now I can imagine then. I can't talk to you now, George. I'm going to clear up this damn cockroach problem once and for all. I loathe bugs. Hey, yes, sir, but, but Mr. Loathe them. Go out and fuck somebody. But we're a damn rubber. Everybody's got the damn herpes these days. Sir, Norman Gaston Myers shot himself an hour ago. Dun, dun, dun. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now we won't have to offer the old fart a seat on the board of directors. Never run good news uh -oh. into the ground. Once you get bugged, you never get rid of them. I mean, cockroaches are particularly bad for that. How do you not notice that? Mr. Pratt. Yes, sir. Good night. You know, if that's a hole directly to the outside or a trash can, they can go in that way. So it's gonna have to do with bugs, huh? Maybe. There's no maybe. It's obvious. I do not like roaches. Worst feeling in the world, finding out that a cockroach just ran over your naked back. Hmm. Just be glad I wasn't a spider. Lots of people are... ...the wife of the man you... 
You murdered this afternoon. Mrs. Katzenmeyer. George Genrin told me old Norman went out with a bang. How many men have you destroyed? Excuse me, I've got this bug problem. So we'll have to defer your charming conversation for another time. I hope you get cancer in the worst place. Hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just ate him. Yep, something crept up on you. I throw that whole food processor out. What? It's a matter of protein. Ew. You'll never convince me roaches don't carry disease. Ah! More of them. We well, don't let dumped them all over your fucking counter. Roaches are very hard to kill. Yeah. Keep up on them if you let them. They do move so fast. Ew. Need the men in black. Zed, we have a bug. Another son of a bitch in blackout. Uh -oh. Bastards! You are more than just an infestation, bro. You should get out of there. Start marching. Yeah, you should leave. He's not a real germaphobe. It's an emergency. It's about time. What are you people doing down there? We got problems tonight, fella. I've got bugs! Everybody's got bugs tonight, and I don't have time for bullshit. The biggest bugs I've ever seen! This has got to stop! I can't handle feeling bugs crawling me either. I'll have your But you're not gonna live to see the end of it. Just get out of your house. What? You think he's not gonna live? The horror movie. Of course he's not gonna live. Ah, of course, of course. I'd be fucking panicking. I hate bugs crawling on me. Now just imagine oh, all those on. cockroaches. Find some cockroaches. They're spiders. By now I'd be passed out. You'll never get in here. Never. Never. How are you getting out of here? Every one of you. Beating bugs all my life. I'll beat you. Oh, they're all in your bed, baby. I hope you die. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pratt? You there, Mr. Pratt? What's the matter, Mr. Pratt? Bugs got your tongue? Ew, ew, ew. I do think the bugs got him. It's already a big buddy, but so many bugs. Yeah, that was one of the scary moments on the Shutter uh -huh. on the uh, Broadway list. Uh huh. Ow. Mm. Ew. Mm. There's Tom Savini. Which one? Mustache. Sex machine! He's always sex machine to me. Dick gun. Comic book! What? It's a comic book! It's a comic book! X-ray glasses! Ah, uh, they don't work. They make your eyes black. You look in it, it's a gag, you know? An authentic voodoo doll! Made out of burlap. Yeah, we can't get that. Where's Billy? Put me down in the neck. Oh, it's this goddamn stiff neck. I can barely move my head. <laughs> hmm. Voodoo doll. Oh! Ah, oh, teach you to throw away my comic box. Ready for another shot, dog? <laughs> he makes some pretty creepy noises. Huh. No titties. No titties. It's really disappointing. Oh no, though. Did like it. All right, so that was Creep, Creep Show. Show. What are our thoughts on Creep Show? Um, I'd say the creepiest part is definitely cockroaches because ew. <laughs> and any of you that have lived in big cities, you know what I mean. Um, the stories were intriguing. I liked the revenge story, the part where the guy got what was coming to him, not the death by tide. Although that was a very unique way to kill people, it wouldn't have worked.
because all you had to do was move your shoulders back and forth and kind of went yeah them. which revenge but story who what? The, the, the only real revenge story they had in there which one the one with the tide oh i guess they did have more than one revenge story because the guy killed his own wife yeah, there's a lot of uh, dad died payback in this. There's a lot of revenge in this. So right. be a bit more the one specific. Using the ocean as a weapon. All right, the tide story. Okay. Uh, I thought that was a very unique way to kill people, even if it was unplausible. Um, implausible, unplausible. I don't know if that's even. I still a word. say you we can test me. that theory and just have me bury you in the sand. Are you trying to kill me? Because I could just move out. I thought you said you could move in and out. That doesn't mean I want to. Okay. And we're back to I can get infections in places you can't thanks to sand. No. Wrap yourself up pretty good. That does not work like you think it does. There's no way to wrap yourself up that well. Wear a chastity belt. You'll be alright. You can still get sand in a chastity belt. Ugh! Just admit they died. They couldn't get out. Just say it. Say mm -hmm. it! Say it! No. Say it! No. She admits it. You I heard it. I do not. I heard it. Anyway. Anyway. Um, I do want to know if it was Baby Sasquatch. I also think Baby Sasquatch shouldn't be able to hold his breath that long. Although dropping a crate from the 1800s into water that far down was not as smart as idea. No, it's just a but, monster story, that's all. Here's the thing though. Wood from that time would have been stronger than wood from today. Because lumber mills were not as heavily processed. Yeah, as but they it could have been a little so rotted. You know, mm. no. no, not if he could lift it and carry it. No, that was that was pretty sturdy. You gotta remember things were made differently back then. They were built to last. That's survivorship bias. You only see the things back then today because they're the ones that actually did survive, as opposed to other shit that didn't. And the things that survived to today were built to last. That crate was not falling apart when they took it apart. It was almost hermetically sealed. Well, it was nailed down pretty good and it was chained up, you know. Which means that it was built well. Also, was that building older than 1834? Did somebody eventually move that crate into that building? I'm not saying they didn't. I'm talking yeah, no. about the crate itself. I'm just thinking. And if they moved it into that building... Why there? Who did it? Right. It's answers we do not have. We will never have. Because it doesn't probably, matter. It's probably the best way to kill your spouse if you're looking to kill your spouse. Ever. The ocean thing, that will get tied back to you eventually. Especially if you keep those fucking tapes, you dipshit. But... Hmm, <laughs> he needs them. <laughs> because eventually those bodies are gonna wash up somewhere. Maybe, yeah. You know? Mm. Um. But it was a nice role for Leslie Nielsen. Uh, mm -hmm. A serious person where I'm serious sure he did guy. have lots of serious roles before Airplane, but nobody's really seen anything before that in it our generation. Looks more we like... just see him as his parody self with like the air, with like the, the Naked Gun movies, the scary movies, if Mr. I Magoo. Had to guess. He got tired of doing the serious shit and he just got old and he's like, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna have fun. I think he just found a new niche, you know? And it worked very well for him because he got more famous for it. Possible. Um,. What yeah. you think of the first story with the birthday cake? Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that one. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a whole five stories ago. <laughs> it was weird. Mm-hmm. And technically, it was the second story. The first story was bookended, front and end. Oh yeah, the story was just the kid reading the book, and then you actually see the stories in the book yeah. as the main um, content of this. Uh, I think it was weird that he didn't try and kill the kids. Yeah. You know, the two adult children. Yeah. Kills her husband, but doesn't kill them. Yeah, that one's not my... Probably my least favorite on this one. It's a little confusing. Yeah. Because why would you kill the husband, but not the two... Yeah, it just ended on them seeing, Ah, oh, the head! I have my birthday cake. Yeah, and you... It would have made more sense if he did it with Adelia than with mm -hmm. their mom. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It just... Mm -hmm. It was a little... Underthought, I think. And then you have the second story with Stephen King and his meteor shit. Now, that one I thought was pretty cool. It definitely turned him into Swamp Thing. I did feel bad for him because he killed himself. But Stephen King actually is a decent actor. I don't think I've actually seen him act before, and I quite 
enjoyed his performance. He's playing a bit of a character there, but yeah, not he that. He was, and he was a weird eccentric character, but he didn't overdo it. He didn't play to too many stereotypes, and he stuck with what was simple and kept it going. I thought it was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um. And so then we have, uh, I believe, the last story of the, uh, the bugs. 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 You hate the bugs? Why'd you hate the bugs? Cockroaches are dirty. Yeah, she thought so too. I don't like them. Plus, I don't like things crawling on me like that. It creeps me out. That doesn't feel the same. Here, I'll do four fingers in each hand so it can feel like a oh, spider. Thanks. I got news for you. If a spider that big is crawling on me, somebody's dying. <laughs> Hopefully the spider. <laughs> It's not the spider's fault it's crawling on me, and I understand that rationale. It is not the spider's fault, but it doesn't need to be near me. What? But that would be a tarantula that somebody had to put on me, or let loose near me to make that happen, and that foolish mortal put a spider in danger that didn't deserve it, which oh. means they harmed an innocent creature. Pretty tarantula. And Why would you going hurt down. a pretty tarantula? I wouldn't do it intentionally, but y'all, I have an irrational fear. It's called irrational for a reason. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'd be You're a spider across the room. When I'm that scared? Yes. <laughs> and I got news for you. Whoever the fuck put that spider in anywhere in my vicinity is going to get their ass at the very least kicked. And by, like, kicked, I mean to the point where you are unconscious and bleeding on the floor. Well, all right, then. Don't put a spider near her. Don't fuck with my fears. I once had a former roommate who used to threaten to put spiders in my bed if I... <laughs> I was standing up to my fucking boundaries and saying things he like, you can't fucking do that in this house. And she's like, I'll put spiders in your bed. I'm like, if you do that, you will be fucking homeless. And she just kept repeating, I'll put spiders in your bed like it was funny. And I'm like, no, I don't think you understand what'll happen. Mm. And she just didn't get it. Like, it didn't register to her how fucking serious I was. Yeah. It was not smart on her part. Yeah. That guy in there probably had the same feeling about the cockroaches, too. Well... Even okay. though he's a dick. Here's the thing, though. You're not gonna get an exterminator. There aren't 24-hour exterminators. They don't exist. Also, they used a lot of real cockroaches. Yeah, they did. In that segment. I wonder how they got rid of all of them from the movie studio afterward. That would have been horrible. <laughs> That would have been horrible. We're going to have to bomb this whole studio. Maybe they wrangled them up and took oh. them back to where they got them, you know. I think you can wrangle those. You can wrangle them. Nah, I don't think it works like that, though. Maybe. Um, yeah, no. I, I don't like cockroaches. I think they're dirty. I think they'll always be dirty. I wigged out, like, the time I talked about it. We lived in Philly at the time. and Yeah. Middle of the night runs across my naked back. The guy I was seeing at the time is the one that found it and realized what it was and took care of the one we found, but I lost my shit. I did everything but call an exterminator to make sure those little bastards never made it back in the house. Unfortunately, that was the only one we ever saw, but I was fucking paranoid for like a week straight. Mm -hmm. I was driving Brynn up the wall with my anal retentive bullshit by the end of that. And I'm like, listen, it did not crawl across your back. <laughs> Shut the... Mm. <laughs> no, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. It I wasn't did not like good. it. It was not okay. Yeah, I think that one segment that, that got you the most as well. Ugh. Especially when they came out of the body. So and... many <laughs> bugs. I don't like it. I don't like them crawling on me. I respect bugs. Mm -hmm. I respect their place in the ecosystem. Just stay the fuck away from me, please. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I don't like the thousand leggers I see in our house. Mm, yeah. I don't want them crawling on me either. They have more legs. It's not okay, man. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what do you think would be your favorite segment out of this? Uh, I'd say, uh, because I'm not real one for the bloody gory stuff, probably go with the tide. The tide segment. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Not a bad um, one. Well, it kind of did remind me of the fog. So, oh, yeah, yeah, a little bit there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Can I go with that? I think, uh, Plus, I'm with the general consensus for most people with the crate. I uh, really liked it. That was the longest segment. Yeah. And, and I did like that one. That would definitely be my second favorite. Yeah. Um, 
We had a very cool story. I wish they'd spun it upon a little bit, like a, a diary that was found or something that says, this is this experience, don't touch it. Mm. And then, you know, the dipshits do it anyway because it's a horror film and it's what you do. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, there's also a sequel to this. Maybe, I think there's several sequels. I've seen Creepshow too. That has some fun segments in it. Uh, this one, a little bit better amongst most people's opinions. Uh, there's also a, an anthology TV series on Shudder uh, that came out a while back. Creepshow uh, series, like three seasons I've, they've done. Are they all anthology episodes? Uh, pretty much, yeah. It's like a two stories per episode type oh, of thing. Okay. So not that bad, you know? Cool. I recommend it if you subscribe to Shudder. And you should. It's only like five, six bucks a month. I mean, like, I'm not a huge anthology fan, but it is a really good way to mm -hmm. get well, miniature stories out. You that are a you fan. You don't have enough. Uh, you a are a story. fan in some way. But the, it's, the story is just one episode of a series, like Goosebumps or Are You Afraid of the Dark. I Those mean, are essentially yes. anthology series. I know. And I'm not arguing that front. Yeah. Um, and it, like I was trying to say, is that it is a really good way to get out short stories you don't have enough for for a full mm -hmm. movie. Yeah. But. So it works very well as a series. I, well. I kind of do prefer when they interact with each other yes because trick-or-treat is an anthology but there's a i'm probably spoiled because of trick-or-treat but it's one of the best ones ever made because of the way everything ties together and the little hints of what's in a story in the, uh later in that night what happened before that night and it's all bind together by sam so mm -hmm. that's a very fun anthology and it has a bit more co cohesiveness between the stories as opposed to just a Traditional yeah. anthology like this, where it's all separate stories. Yeah, and whereas I like this, and I liked Goosebumps, and I liked Are You Afraid of the Dark, um, I liked it better when they kind of... Trick or Treat definitely has me spoiled on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, that was... Upside Down. Yes, that was Creep Show, The 1982 anthology movie directed by George A. Romero, written by Stephen King. A lot of... Very excellent. A lot of horror talent effects. involved in this one, I by will Tom admit. Savini. And Tom Savini, yep. A lot of good horror effects, cred, people involved. One of the most well known anthology movies out there, and now we've watched it. We have indeed. Maybe eventually we can watch another one, which I'm looking forward to showing you. Oh, yeah? Probably after your trip. Okay. But yeah, there'll be at least one more I want to show you. One more creep show? Not creep show, but just a one more anthology series. Is that what you're getting? An anthology, a newer one though. Okay. Maybe we'll do that after you show up first thing. We'll see. That probably be around May. Just so when you guys know. When you guys know. see it. Yeah. I'll be seeing it in April. Yeah, we had to do a bit of a rush here before she goes, like a whole. You know, this four months summer, worth of stuff in two weeks. So. This coming summer, we really should bulk up. Instead of pushing to do four months worth of stuff in a week at the end of October, December and January. I'll make a schedule. We have more things to do. I get them. I just don't want him to have so much work to do. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. That, yeah, next, but... There's a new video every Tuesday on the channel. Right, but the next six months or so, you're not going to have me to drag you out of your bedroom when you've been in there too long staring at a computer screen. And I'm going to worry about you. I'll be fine. I have friends. Maybe. I have enemies. Maybe. You have enemies? I don't know. I hope so. I don't so. actually know people that don't like you. I'm sure there's going to be some out of you. I think I'm an asshole. I'm sure there are too, but they don't say it in front of me. Ugh. At least not if I know what's good for them. Ugh. One way or another, I'm I think I just want to. I think I just want to duel somebody, you know. Ha ha! My great and worthy opponent. I don't have one of those. Just go Ms. Adams and duel them anyway. You don't have to have an opponent that's, you know, your adversary. Just have foils around the house and randomly go. You're going to fence me now. Yes, I'll just surprise him. Fight, bitch! What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Go Ms. Adams gets away with it. Yeah. You could pull that off. Certainly, certainly I could. Certainly mm. I could. So yes. Uh, so as I was saying, we have a new video every Tuesday, at least sometimes on Friday, if I feel like it, uh, or it's a special holiday. So uh, 
go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like uh, our reactions and review especially because we love comments i've seen pretty much most of what we show here so she's the first time watcher mm -hmm. for pretty much all of these but i do like to talk about the movies afterwards so and sometimes before and sometimes a little bit before so uh and if you subscribe on our patreon on a certain level you can actually see these videos advance of the youtube subscribers you can vote on any polls you do there for movies we may want to show and your vote counts, and your vote counts more. more as opposed to just a regular youtube poll we don't have subscribers on patreon i'll probably just do a patreon exclusive poll too so that's always that incentive yeah i like money i like money <laughs> he is in rare form tonight folks I am. How are you feeling better? You, were, no. you had a little bit of a headache before we started. So. I don't feel any better. There is a muscle in my head that is pissed off. I think it has to do with this, whatever the fuck the weather is doing right now. You, yeah, just being weird right it. now. So, Okay, so we'll get this finished up right now. So thank you for watching. Uh, and we look forward to having you for the next video. And in the meantime, stay spooky. All right. Bye.